If you guys want more crafting streams, I did say I was gonna make little bits and pieces of... Cock jump scare? <gasps> Warning! Look out! Watch out for the cock! You want me to make a cock on stream? Crafting! Cosplay! Step one! You need a pattern! This one was made by Kimpetsu. She is super amazing. She also made the pattern for the old Super Crown that I had, and she just came out with a brand new one, so I figured I'd make an updated, more accurate Super Crown. So this is our part B. This is going to be the poofy crown parts. A is the crown. Part C is the little foam circles. What I'm doing is tracing the pieces for the little pink cushiony part. And these registration marks that I'm making here, when we glue it, we're gonna make sure these two points match up to each other. And that's how you get a nice even seam when you're making stuff. So because the pattern is smaller than our Sharpie marks, what we wanna do is cut the inside of the Sharpie so we don't make this piece too big. And because I'm using a new sharp blade, you get this super clean, smooth edge. I love metal rulers because you can make super easy, clean, straight cuts. That was not a straight cut. Let me fix my mistake. There we go. You don't want to cut too far away from your pattern because you want to be able to save as much foam as possible. So we're gonna do this in one big motion. You don't have to do this fast. You can take your time with it. Totally fine. Yeah, that looks pretty. <laughs> All of the foam pieces are cut and ready to be glued together. We can glue some of these parts together, but some of these need bevels. So to do that, I'm gonna cut with scissors. I like to angle my scissors like this at a 45 degree angle and then place the foam wherever I need it to be angled. If for whatever reason you accidentally cut the bevel at the wrong angle or you cut a bottom bevel when you're supposed to cut a top bevel, you can always just cut another piece. It's okay. The best way to learn is by making mistakes. The reason I'm doing this is because it's this much less foam that I have to sand and get dust particles everywhere with. I'm gonna get out the Dremel. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get this uh, outer edge as pointed and flat as possible. So it is perfectly flush at a 45 degree angle. So I only did half of this piece and you can kind of see how this is very uh, smooth and flat. And this one is still a little bumpy from when we cut off a little bit with the scissors. Another crafting tip, don't let your dog or wolf use the power tools. I'm gonna use it. Next, we're busting out the heat gun. There's a little bit of fuzziness from the Dremel just because it's sanding and you're kind of ripping up the foam a little bit. So when you heat it up a little bit, it kind of melts the foam, but this also seals the foam because foam is very porous. So you wanna make sure to coat all your pieces in the heat so that way it's all sealed up. It also makes it a lot easier to paint it. We can start off by gluing all of these little corner pieces together first. Take our contact cement. We want to coat both sides of the pieces we want to glue together and wait for it to dry completely. So if you use a scrap piece of foam and just kind of dip it in a little bit and just brush it right on. And I'm going to keep it like this because we don't want the cement to touch itself yet. To, to touch each other. The two cemented pieces. Oh, yeah. I'm touching the glued pieces and it is completely dry. So this is where the magic happens. So you see where these two marks are on either side? You wanna make sure that those are touching. So now this piece is glued together. I think it's time to glue together our main base crown piece. So line up the bottom. So just like that, it's a nice, very smooth edge. And that's gonna be the, the main part of our crown. You can kind of see it coming together a little bit. There's this little rounded edge. Ideally, you want a half foam dowel. I only have a full foam dowel, so I'm just gonna cut this in half. I'm just gonna do my best to kind of cut this as close to the center as I can. So these two pieces are dry now. We're gonna start forming one half of the mushroom on top of the super crown. So again, we wanna make sure we line up everything as best as we can. So like I said before, this is why we wanted to add a little bevel onto our foam. I'm trying to get this tip. 
There, now we have like a little lumpy do. And then this goes inside of our crown. It does look like a little butt. <laughs> Before we glue in the mushroom, there's a very important step. We need a base. So the purpose of doing this like this is so we can trace the inside. And this should be the last foam piece we have to cut out. It's not a perfect circle, but you know what? We're not here for perfection, we're here for- this has a magnet attachment. It goes underneath my wig, and there is another magnet on the inside here. So, it magnets. It magnets. And we made kind of like this tiny little divot. We're going to contact cement the magnet in place. So we can just cut a little patch, glue it down so it's really secure. Normal to have a messy desk? Well, it's just like cluttered with a bunch of cosplay supplies right now. Got a bunch of foam scraps and my paints are out. The cock is out. My cock's on screen actually. Should be good. We're gonna set that aside to dry. And in the meantime, let's attach our trim. We wanna start gluing this on the seam. So that way our seams line up and then it looks extra pretty and intentional. <laughs> Try to keep it as flush as possible. And then we'll put a little glue on those sides and they will line up like that. Foam clay is exactly what it sounds like. It's foam with clay-like properties. We scoop a little out and you can sculpt it like clay. This is how I made the little balls on top of my crown. Recommended 48 hours for it to fully cure and then it turns into foam. See the difference between the clay and the foam? So we've got the balls made. I'm actually gonna put these off to the side to let them dry. So you wanna make sure that this little magnet portion is on the inside. So how we're gonna glue this on is just, we're gonna start on one edge like that and we're just gonna work our way around until it's all glued on. Okay, we have our base on now. Now let's move on to uh, the cock. This is quick seal. What this does is it fills in cracks. Again, just using water to smooth this out. Get your caulk wet for the best results. We will let that dry and we gonna paint. Yeah. I'm gonna start at the seam. Oh, so satisfying. How do you make smooth plastic look metallic if you can't use spray paint? That's a really tricky question. Painting on porous material like foam it's very easy to eliminate the brush strokes just kind of by smoothing it out and adding more and more layers. Maybe um, a certain number of layers of paint would help too, even if it's like the thinnest layer. Look at this pink. <gasps> it's so pretty. I'm gonna go through and just put on a light layer of paint around the rest of it. This doesn't necessarily have to be a project that you do in one sitting. You can cut out all the foam pieces one day. You can glue all the foam pieces together another day. Cosplay isn't something you need to rush. You can do it when you have the time to. You can do it when you have the motivation to. It's totally up to you. And now you can really start to see the difference between one layer of paint and two layers. It's a lot less splotchy. So don't feel discouraged if your paint looks like this. Just add more layers of paint. The next day. I was looking at this crown, right? And something looked off. This point from here to here is approximately two centimeters from the trim to the little the little divot here. And then when I measured this one, it was two and a half. So we're gonna fix that. Let me bring out my foam scissors. Snip, snip. So now from all angles, it is the same height from the bottom. Now that we did that, I'm gonna show you the other developments with this part specifically, it's very hard to get a super, super perfect, clean seam, especially with this many and this much of a complex shape. So I had a cool idea. This is spray adhesive. And we're going to spray this surface of the foam completely. When we spray it down, we're going to smooth out and stick the fabric to the spray glue and then kind of stretch it around the edges. So that way, when it's all said and done, It'll look kind of like this. I kind of want to try to make this look a little bit better. So I do have another piece of thin two millimeter foam. So I'm just gonna slowly uh, work my way to make this circle a little bit smaller. So let me crack open my stinky can of glue. Oh God, oh dude, I'm not having the time of my life right now. I'm scared. Um, what, 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 what you doing? Mmm, yummy. Stop! 
<laughs> Stop. Now again, you don't want to slather this on thick. You want to make sure it's rather thinly spread out. This will give you the best hold with contact cement. So we're gonna line up with a little mark that we made like that. So now we don't have to worry about all of those concentric rings from all the different layers of foam. Now it's just one clean base. And because the magnets we're using to keep this on my head is so strong, <laughs> lift it off the ground. <laughs> These are N52 neodymium magnets. If you were to get your fingers caught between two of these magnets coming at each other, you would probably get a really nasty blood blister. If your fingers are not in the way, they will actually shatter upon impact. They don't have to be this strong and powerful. I just like them to be rather powerful. So that way the crown doesn't fall off my head because I'm gonna have a wig layered between the crown and the magnet. I wanna make sure that it's sturdy enough for me. Yeah. The reason why we're cutting this is so that way our balls have more of a surface area to glue onto. Let's glue on our little foam balls. Ta -da! We also don't want to forget to paint this little topper. <laughs> what we can do is paint it like this and we won't have to worry about brushing like our fingers with it or having it roll around on us. I like to just dip my paintbrush into the actual bottle of paint just so I'm not wasting any because sometimes you can get a little bit too much paint. There, first layer done. Now let's finish painting the crown. Look at her. Look at her shine. These foam circles, these are gonna be for the white spots. When foam is heated up, you can shape it and stretch it. And when it cools, it will stay in that shape. So we're essentially trying to turn this flat piece of foam into a curve to fit around the side of our little mushroom. So now it should glue down relatively in the right shape. So what we're gonna need, a box. Pretty much what you're gonna wanna do, put whatever you want to put spray glue on inside the box. That way when you spray it, it won't get everywhere and it will just get the inside of the box all sticky. Going to put our object into our spray box. Shake, 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 shake. Here I go, going to spray. Now we're gonna push it down. I'm just working section by section. because this is a rectangular or square piece of fabric going around a curved surface, there's going to be this extra little bit here. If you are using a stretch fabric and you're cutting off these corners like I am, don't stretch the fabric because then when you do cut it, it'll bounce back and then you're left with less fabric than you need. Now that all the extra fabric is gone, let's glue on the spots now. And cement, and I'm pushing in on the underside. Now there's our little button. So now we're gonna be gluing the white dots on the side. I'm just pressing down the contact cement and it is now glued in the shape of this curve here. Line up our front sides. Look at that. <laughs> We had some eyes made for it too, but I think I ended up making them a little too small. Let me just place them here so you can kind of get the gist of what it'll look like. But I think I'll try to make the eyes a little bit bigger. <laughs> Let's take a photo together, chat. Say Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo!